The VidNet portal allows you to log in from any computer with internet access to update your contact information, manage your schedule, and receive news and messages from the volunteer office. You can usually find a link to VicNet on your organization's website. If you're not sure how to find your organization's VicNet portal, please contact the volunteer office. They will be able to give you instructions on how to access VicNet. In the login name field, enter the email address that your organization has on file. Then enter your VicNet password and click the Go button. If you do not know your VicNet password, you can click the Forget Your Password link to have a reminder message emailed to you. Or you can contact the volunteer office at your organization to obtain your password. If you have trouble logging into VicNet, please contact the volunteer office. They can send you your VicNet password by email or reset it for you. They can also look for other reasons why you may not be able to log in. Once you log in, you'll see the Home tab, which will look similar to this. Here, the volunteer office can post news and information for all volunteers and coordinators, as well as links to documents or other websites. The tabs that appear in VicNet are chosen by the volunteer office, so you might not have all of these tabs available. The Mail tab allows you to see messages, called VicMail, sent to you from the volunteer office. New messages appear on top and old messages below that. To read a message, simply click the subject line. The My Profile tab allows you to view and update your personal information. The sections and fields that appear here are chosen by your organization. They can also choose to make certain fields required or read only. Be sure to click the Save button if you make any changes to any of the sections here. Remember that you will need to complete all of the required fields before any of your changes will be saved. The My Schedule tab allows you to view your schedule in either a monthly calendar view or a daily view. All of your scheduled shifts will appear with black text showing the time, the name of the assignment, and any notes for that shift. These orange Help Wanted balloons appear on days that have opportunities for you to serve. Click on any of these days to see more details about those opportunities. If you would like to fill one of the available shifts, click the Schedule Me button and confirm your choice. Then click Continue to return to the calendar. You can remove yourself from scheduled shifts if they are far enough in the future. How close to the scheduled shift you are allowed to remove yourself is set by the volunteer office. If you're not able to serve as scheduled, but you cannot remove yourself from the schedule, you will need to contact the volunteer office or your coordinator for that assignment. The My Service History tab allows you to see past service that has been recorded for you. If your organization uses mandatory service programs, this is where you will be able to track your progress towards service requirements or goals. Click a year to view individual service entries for the year and click the date for a specific entry to see more details. The Timesheet tab allows you to post hours for completed service. To post hours, choose the date and number of hours you served. You may also be asked to choose the assignment you served in. If your organization tracks service measures, like mileage or travel time, you may be asked to enter these as well. After you have entered the required information, click the Continue button. Confirm that the information is correct, then click Yes. 
On the Account tab, you can change your VicNet password. Enter your current password here and enter your new password twice here. Be sure that your new password meets the minimum requirements shown here. Under Message Preferences, VicNet provides volunteers and coordinators with a web interface which they can use to opt in or out of receiving text messages. When you are finished using VicNet, click the Exit button to log out. If you have any trouble with VicNet, please contact the volunteer office. They will be able to troubleshoot other problems.